It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Manchester City. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks, and the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Hummers. It's with Dahoud. defending of the highest order well we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch but what should we expect from him today Stuart well the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas and he can certainly play in tight areas he wriggles out situations he can find that penetrative pass and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away he could be the outstanding player today a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw-in Space and time for the cross. Foden. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Smuggled away. Dahoud. The ball with Marco Royce. Jude Bellingham. It's with Dahoud. Erling Haaland. Opportunity it is. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. <laughs> and now the delivery. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Rodri. Here's Mares. Mares. 
A quick low ball. A decisive clearance it was. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. Crossing possibilities. Gundogan. He cuts it back. Opportunity. Can they slot it home? Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The opening goal of the game then. Moving forward effectively. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. So nearing the break, and City hold the edge. Stuart, how about your critique of what they put into the game so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And it's Gabriel Jesus. The cross is on. Gundogan, extremely sloppy in possession. Well, they have it again. Gundogan. Phil Foden now. It's with Gundogan. Gabriel Jesus. Dangerous looking through ball. Gundogan. And a goal it is for Manchester City. They are the team on course for victory. Well, here's the goal again. And you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. minutes of stoppage time has been added on showing considerable guile and that is that half time here in the Spanish capital And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Dahoud. Now Holland. Hummers. On to Holland. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Ruben Diaz. Ederson. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Marco Reus. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Rodri. Neat passing, confidence on the ball. Foden. Oh, surely! And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from...
from this now. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end. You still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. the final 30 minutes well as the stats confirm City have controlled the ball they've passed it well their movement's been good and they've been well worth their lead could get even better here here's Mares it's with Gundogan it did take a touch on the way through hence a corner And Manchester City will go to their bench. It elects to go short. That's a very impressive piece of defending. How to play for a Manchester City throw in. Mares. The end product just wasn't there. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Being pressed and pressed high. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Hummers. It's with Dahoud. Holland. And Bellingham. Couldn't keep the ball. This might be ideal for the counter. Mares. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Erling Haaland. Back to Haaland. Gonna get a try. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever gonna trouble the goalkeeper. will go to the bench so getting close to the end of this one and City pushing all the right buttons well what can you say about this performance they've been absolutely brilliant They've played with such guile and creativity and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. And a very good challenge. The ball with Marco Reus. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Holland. Brandt. 
And there goes the final whistle. Defeat for Dortmund, much to the disappointment of their supporters. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best at every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Kevin De Bruyne, incisive and influential. How would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian? Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.